God says, I am mobilizing you in prayer. Prayer is not the same as begging or appealing. Prayer is about reigning and ruling. You don't have to go through the grave to rule and reign over me. You are not waiting to ascend to heaven, to become the king and priest that I have created for you. You will see the entirety of the goodness of the word becoming flesh and the overflowing of my kindness. The word becomes a person, God taking on human form. Within the realms of glory, the word becomes who you are destined to be of grace upon grace and spiritual blessing. Upon spiritual blessing and favor upon favor and gift upon gift. For the word must increase and consume. Your flesh consume and glorify it so, that when they look upon you they will see my glory in one who is truly. Begotten of the Father full of grace and truth, you are now a king and a priest. You have jurisdiction and authority in your life right now and the setting and condition you find yourself in command of your situation. Rise in who you are in me, and I will rise in who I am in you. I will arise and include you in a great gathering of a massive host of wars that item assembling to confront the nations of the world. The word became flesh, it did not end, with Jesus the Christ of God. As I tabernacle with you living within your tent of flesh and blood, and redeemed humanity, the word is still becoming flesh. You are my dwelling place, and I have built my throne within the chambers of men's hearts as living tabernacles of my glory, because they will see my glory as you dwell among them. That same glory that graced the Father's only begotten full of grace and truth. They will see my glory, grace, and loving kindness pouring out from the spot where I dwell. So I will pour out my glory from within, and you will recognize my glory. The day to pray in anticipation of what is to come on the global stage. Learn to pray ahead of time, and when difficulties happen you will laugh like. He who sits in the sky and laughs at the scorners and mockers of the earth, you will not be fired. According to the Father, the wicked will be taken from the earth, but the upright will be established and will remain there. God says be a partaker of the fresh bread of my truth. There are truths in my word that have stood the test of time and will always. Strengthen and renew your spirits. There is also the present truth. Revelation, which is fresh and unheard of in prior generations and is being. Revealed today to those who are open and eager to listen. I'm revealing new instructions to you. Therefore spend that extra time in the word that makes the new manna visible to you in relevant ways. With my message and the revelation of my spirit comes a fresh endowment of power, as well as an awareness of how my power manifests itself in the current scenario. You find yourself in. You ask the questions and now the answers are ready for those who are attentive to dig into my word of old with fresh eyes and appetite. Truth, especially new revelatory truth, nearly invariably elicits a negative reaction when heard for the first time. Type amen if you believe. God bless you.